How's it going, everybody? Nerd Rock here, and I'm alive. <laughs> oh, jeez, I know I've been terrible, guys, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I got a lot to talk about with you guys. So what I'm what I'm thinking is that uh, this will be something of a mining and traveling episode, um, as I really um, just want to catch you guys up with what's going on in my life and future plans and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the gist of this episode. Let's go. I'm going to head towards the new territory and find a find the new place to mine. So, why have I been gone so long? Well, there's no I don't really have a good reason, to be honest with you guys. Um, you guys know I've been working and I was working at that nursing home. And to be honest with you guys, it just like it got too much for me and I, I started losing my mind a little bit. Um, that's a slight exaggeration, but not a big one. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it was so much, you know, and I, it felt like each week I would lose a little bit of my sanity. Um, or let, let's say my, a little bit of my went, mental will, well-being, excuse me, I can barely speak. Um, and I would just lose a little bit of it each week. And like slowly but surely I, I, I was like losing myself in this job. And as much as I loved the job, I really loved it. I went home every day knowing that I did good in this world, but it was just too much. So uh, as of now, you guys should know, I am no longer working. I left on very good terms, but I had to get out of there. I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, I'm going to be going freelance as a musician, still playing in nursing homes, but I'll only be there like an hour at a time. So it's not going to be quite as like gut-wrenching and just like, you know, I won't be I won't be in the dementia unit all day long like I was before. Um, so I'm very, very excited about the future, and I have some other crazy things to tell you guys that, like, I've known about for a little while now, but I, honestly, I've been apprehensive to really tell anybody, but at this point, I guess I may as well tell you. Um, so in two months, 55 days to be exact, I'm going to Indonesia <laughs> on vacation, um, and you might be wondering why. Uh, well, about a year ago, <coughs> excuse me, about a year ago... I met someone online on a social networking website. Sometimes when I'm really bored, I'll hop on uh, one of these apps on the phone. You'll just talk to some some strangers out there. And just, I don't know, it's, it's interesting to hear people's stories from around the world and connect with people. Honestly, it's a big reason why I got so into Minecraft originally. But anyway, so I met this girl from Indonesia about a year ago. Her name is June. Hi, June, if you're watching. <laughs> um... And, you know, we've been talking for a year, and I guess it was about, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, a few months back, it was maybe like four months or so when I realized, wow, I really like this girl. And uh, she said it to me too, you know, like, you know, I really like you. Especially when I started working and we weren't talking as much, um, we both kind of felt that emptiness, I guess. And, uh, well, to be honest, she was kind of <laughs> more adamant about it than me, but that's okay. I've, I have since then realized how important she is to me, so... That's why I'm going to Indonesia to meet June, or Junita is her full name. And, uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> How crazy is that, guys? I know it's nuts, right? It feels nuts when I talk about it. Um, I'm going to the other side of the world to meet somebody that I've spoken to on the internet. It's crazy, right? Um, but it's really, really exciting, and I'm really excited to meet her. Uh, I've never really quite felt this for anybody, so hopefully everything in person works out. Um, so yeah, for some reason I was very embarrassed about it. I didn't want to tell anybody and I thought it was a very embarrassing thing, but I, I suppose it really isn't that embarrassing. I don't know. I, I guess it's just, it feels crazy. And a lot of people are warning me like, oh, you know, you just, you know, be careful. These people would just want a green card and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and I've told her that people have told me that and I've told her my fears. And, you know, it's scary for both of us. Um, so Yeah. I don't want you guys to think that I'm going all willy-nilly. I, I, I understand the risks and all that, but I'm, I'm just really, really excited. And after a year, it's just about a year, um, I think if there was anything fishy about it, I probably would have um, picked up on it by now. So, yeah. If I disappear in two months, guys, you know what happened? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm hoping, actually, to actually take some video of the trip and have it up on my channel. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But 
I'll be honest with you guys. It's 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 become very difficult to uh, concentrate because that's really all I can think about is this trip. Um, I'm going for a month. I'm going to be there for a full month. I'm going with my brother, so I'm not going alone because, to be honest with you, I'm too much of a fraidy cat to go alone. <laughs> so my brother's going with me. We're going to spend three weeks in Bali and one week in Jakarta, which is like their big city. Indonesia is a bunch of different islands. I'm not really familiar with all of it, but there's Bali and there's Java Island. And Bali is the uh, the big tourist spot. And uh, Jakarta is like on Java Island, and that's their like big city over there. So I'm going to see a little of everything. And I am just super excited. Going to meet her. Going to meet her friends. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, wanted to let you guys know that that was happening. And hopefully I'll have some really cool videos of... Uh, Indonesia. Heck, maybe that will be my uh, my big face cam moment. You guys will finally see what I look like. <laughs> don't know <if> subscribe, please. <laughs> All right, let me head over. There. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just lighting up a little bit because I realize it's so dark. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been around much, guys. But like, I you know my channel's still here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, and to be honest with you guys, like I don't really foresee ever going, ever leaving YouTube. Uh, you know, if you guys notice that I'm gone for a few months, no need to panic. Uh, I plan on having this channel uh, pretty much forever. I don't see any reason why I should have to not have it. So those of you who are uh, digging my content and enjoy my commentary and like me, I assume that's pretty much why you're around. You decided you, you like me, which thanks, guys. <laughs> but I, 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 I can't imagine you're watching me because of my amazing gameplay skills. So... <laughs> So yeah, moral of the story, whoops, whoops. Oh boy. Let's see if this works. Nope. Did that not happen? I'm so confused. Anyway, so yeah, moral of the story is, you know, if you guys like my content and you like me and you plan on continuing to watch, my channel will be around. Oh, I see what happened now. My channel will be around as long as I'm around. Um, even, if, even if the updates get slim. Hey, buddy. Um, you know, I'll still be around. This, this zombie's gonna be a problem. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, I will still be around forever, so you can watch till I'm old and gray. <laughs> really, though, uh, I, I'm really, really, uh, kind of mad at myself for letting the channel go down a little bit, but I think it's for the best. Uh, I did, I don't, I don't want to put up videos that aren't good. This is the part I should probably explain. Um, I actually recorded a video a few weeks back of an uh, insult uh, of the new Jungle Island, and I never uploaded it because it was a horrible video. Like I just sound depressed in it. I sound sad. Um, I know I don't sound sad now because I am happy as could be. <laughs> um, so I just didn't upload it. It's sitting on my computer unuploaded because it's just depressing, and I don't want to put out that type of content. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys understand that, and uh, excited to see me back. Uh, so, here's the other thing I need to talk to you guys about. I need new games to play. I love Salt, but I've played so much of it, I'm taking a little bit of a break till there's some more content, and then I'll probably start all over again. Uh, but you know, what I'm really hoping for is, is the multiplayer. Really want that multiplayer, um, but I need a little break from that game for a little while. Someone had commented the other day that, oh, is this the end of the series? And it's it's not. It's not. I'm going to play more Salt. At least I plan to. But for now, there's not a whole lot for me to do um, except try to finish that, like, story quest. And that's just a lot of kind of sailing around and trying to find something. And it's fun, but I've just I've played that game so much. I need a little break. Uh, so Salt's going to go on the back burner for a little while, I think. Um, today I'm playing Minecraft, but I don't know how much of that I'll be playing. Um, you know, occasionally I'll play it. It's just kind of my go-to. Uh, so yeah, I need something new. And here's the thing. So I, w I was thinking about playing Fallout 4. I, I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game. But the thing is, you guys don't know this, but I'm a huge Fallout fan. Like, I love all the Fallout games. Um, the new one, 3, New Vegas, and 4. The, uh, older games, I'm sure they're great, but that's just not my cup of tea. Um, I need the 3D. <laughs> so I was thinking of doing Fallout, and like... I was thinking of doing something like Fallout done different, and that would, that would be like the whole idea, whereas I, I approach everything in a little bit of a different way. Uh, maybe I play through as a, uh, you know, a very intelligent merchant, whereas like I'm all about avoiding fighting, and I have a lot of 
uh, companions with me who do most of the fighting for me, and I walk around kind of not passive, but like you know, like I'm just like the guy in charge. I walk around while my companions handle everything, and uh, I don't know how doable that is. I know someone has done played through the game passively, but I don't know how doable that is. But regardless, however, I decide to play it. I was thinking about Fallout Four, but the thing is. And this is when I realized I don't know my viewers that well. Like, I know you guys like open-world survival crafting-type games. You must, because that's all I have on my channel. Um, but I don't know if a AAA title is going to turn off a lot of you guys. So I'm kind of hoping to get some feedback from you guys. I'd like to do it. In fact, I've always wanted to do a new Vegas playthrough, but I felt like I really missed the boat on that game. In Fallout 4, I might have missed the boat a little bit too, but at least it's somewhat relevant now. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing it um, I've already played that game to death. I got 180 some odd hours in it already, beaten it like four times with like four different characters. So, well, of course it's four different characters. That was a dumb thing to say. Um, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. So let me know what you think about Fallout. Uh, what else? What else? What are the games that I've been looking at? There aren't a whole lot. You know, I, you know I've been trying to play Witcher 3. Let me, let me talk about this for a little while. Witcher 3. It's a wonderful game, right? Like everyone loves that game. Why can't I play it? <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I'm serious, guys. Like, I can't play that game. Like, I, I try over and over again. And if any of you have me on, on Steam as your friend, you'll see it occasionally. You'll see, oh, Nerdrock has, is playing The Witcher 3. And five seconds later, it'll, you'll see I'm playing something else because I just, I can't. I can't play the game. I've tried everything. I tried playing it on super hard mode. Boring. I tried playing it on super easy mode. It's boring. Uh, the story seems kind of interesting. But, like, my whole thing is, like, if I want a good story, I'll watch a movie. Like, I like a game with a good story, don't get me wrong. But the game has to be good. And I'm not saying the game isn't good in Witcher. But for me, the combat, I don't know. Something about that game doesn't click. You guys can see the some of the progress I've made here. This is taking a really long time. In fact, if any of you guys would like to someday, I'm not saying it would be, like, a permanent thing. But for, like, a few hours one day, you want me to whitelist you and you jump on the server and help me finish this? That'd be great, because this is, like, I, this is just too many hours of work. I had to take a little break from it. Um, so, yeah, Witcher 3, I don't know. I know it's a great game. I'm definitely not putting it down, because when, it's, when a game is that universally loved by everybody, I, I, there, it makes me think maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't know. Because I can't play that game. I just can't. I've tried so many times. I can't do it. This is a fortune. Good. We're going to go mining now. Do a little exploring. Do a little mining. But yeah, I just can't play that game. I don't know why. And it makes me feel bad because it's this, it's this huge game. Supposedly like 100 plus hours of content in it. And I can't get past two. I can't. I just can't. Um, so yeah, there's that. What other games are out there? Uh, Hurt World I see is a big popular game right now. And I own it. But... I don't know, guys. That game just feels like Rust to me. It's just Rust with, like, different colors. Whatever. Um, I played all those games I've had enough of already. Those multiplayer, build a base, and hope nobody attacks you thing. I, I, I've had it with that. So that's out. Um, so, yeah. I just... I, I, there's, like, no game out there that's calling my name, which is kind of why I'm leaning towards Fallout. Because, you know, it's a somewhat popular game. I love Fallout. And, uh... Yeah, it kind of ticks off all the boxes on, like, the content I do on my channel. It's crafting, open world, it's survival. Um, it's a damn good game, too. I have my complaints about Fallout 4, but it, it's a good game, guys. Honestly, you shouldn't... Don't be too hard on it. <laughs> so, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions of games, we're looking for open world. 3D is a must. Um, I don't know why. Just on my channel, I need a 3D game. Uh, 3D first person, really, to be honest with you. That's a, it's a big deal. So, yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. What else? What else? Oh, I'm sure there will be a video about this something up on my channel somewhat soon. Um, but the public server. That's right, you heard it. The public server is coming back. I've been working on the new spawn with Capern. And, uh, yeah, it's coming back, guys. Uh, good times. We'll be back. In fact, if you would like to see the map being built... At some point, I will probably broadcast the uh, link. You can actually watch us build the map while it's being, while we're working on the spawn and stuff. So that's cool. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna announce it just yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about that, guys. Uh, I got a lot of server running experience. 
And, uh, you know, I had to close it a while back because I was just super busy and, like, a lot of things went down. And, like, I'm just very, very excited to launch the server again. Um, it's going to be economy-based. It's going to be a similar model I tried before, but I gave up on way too quick. Um, it's going to be a mature server. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means that uh, there will not be any spawned-in items. There will not be a tremendous amount of teleporting. There will be a little. Uh, as much as it kills me because I really don't like teleporting. Ooh, ooh, this is a cool area. Let's check this out. I really don't like teleporting uh, in Minecraft. I think it completely destroys the game. Uh, but in my experience on these public servers, yeah, it's kind of a necessary evil. The server's so gigantic, and sometimes you just want to play with your friends. You don't have all afternoon to go walking towards them. So we're going to have, we're going to have, like, teleportation, like, waypoints, I think is how it works. I haven't exactly planned it out yet, but I, I think that's going to be the gist of it. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, so it's going to be mature. That's basically what I mean. Like, none, you're not going to go on and, like, see a bunch of people... In you know, living in diamond block houses because, like, it's just, it's going to feel like Minecraft. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is, is I don't think there's a lot of servers like that anymore, you know? Like, so many servers, uh, it seems just, it's like a, it's like a circus server. I can't explain it. I mean, my server used to be like this too, so I'm not putting them down. I just, I decided this time I want a, um... I want a, like a, a legit feeling server. I I want something that's going to withstand the test of time that I don't need to put a ton of plugins in. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And that's what I mean by mature server. It's going to have like it'll have features and it's going to be fun, um but it's not going to be like it's not going to be like, oh, you know, make a sugarcane farm and then sell your sugarcane and then ch change that for diamonds. That's not going to happen, guys. Um, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be fun. Basically, uh, what I'm going to say is give it a shot and give it a little while because it's, it's going to be a different model. The way it's going to work is you're going to go mining and if you find gold, you will be able to exchange that gold for money. Um, but that's it. The only way to, for money to be made on this server is by digging up gold. Um, why? Why am I doing it that way? Because that is, that's going to make our economy feel real. Um, because when someone, you know, digs up gold and makes money, that doesn't just make them money. That creates money on the server. Uh, so that person can now go find another person and be like, hey, uh, I really need, you know, I need a diamond. Did you do you have a diamond? And they're like, yeah, sure. I'll, you know, I'll trade you some, some money for it. And, and, and so basically, I'm not really explaining this well because I'm not really well versed on economics. But basically, it, it creates a real ec economic model. So, like, as people dig up more gold, the, the worth of gold will go down. Um, and the value of other things uh, will pretty much stay the same, basically making a real... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm babbling about, guys. But basically, basically it's going to be a gold-backed economy, uh, and you can't, like, poof items into the world. So, like, if you want diamonds, somebody had to have mined them up, and you're going to trade, you know, money for it, and that money is backed in gold. So it's all real... It's all based on real things, you know? Um, hold on one second. Somebody's texting me here. <laughs> and as usual, I'm being super, super professional. My brother wants to hang out. I'm telling him I'm recording. <laughs> I don't even know how long I've been recording for. It feels like a pretty long time. All right, let, let me dig deep here and finish some of the stuff I want to talk about with you guys. Uh, so the server's coming back and it's going to be awesome. That's the moral of the story. I promise you it's going to be awesome. Uh, what else? What else? Uh... Oh, I just realized something, too. I had been messing around with my computer. I hope it doesn't mess up the way the video looks. Hopefully it looks okay. Um, there's a setting in NVIDIA called the Vibrance, Digital Vibrance, and it makes every game, every single game so far that I've been playing look so much more colorful and nice. Um, so you might notice that things look kind of dark here. Uh, and I think that's why. Hopefully it's not making everything too dark, and it just looks good. Because from my perspective, the game looks great right now. Um, also using some different rendering techniques, so hopefully everything looks alright, guys. So let, let's do a quick recap. <laughs> um, I'm back. I'm alive. <laughs> channel's still here. Um, there will be more on my channel now that I'm no longer working full-time. Uh, I'm going on a vacation to Indonesia in two months. Hopefully I can pre-record some stuff, because I'd hate to, like, 
be back and then have nothing for for a month. Um, so I'll try to record stuff ahead of time. Um, what else? What else? Oh yes, public servers coming back for sure, which I'm super excited about. Um, and there was another one. Oh yeah, I need games to play. So give me your game recommendations. Oh man, I haven't gone mining in way too long. You know, maybe we'll have. Maybe we'll have, like, Mining Mondays or something. Because, like, I'm kind of enjoying this. I, ho I hope you guys like it. Let, let me know how you feel about, like, my Minecraft content. Because I got to tell you guys, Minecraft is still, to this day, it's still one of my favorite games. Um, games come and go, but I still come back to Minecraft for some reason. I don't know what it is. I've tried to play so many games that are basically similar, but they're just not the same. And I, I try to play mod packs all the time. They're never quite the same either. Although there are a few mod packs I've been thinking of trying out. Anyway, let me know what you think. Give me some ideas for games. Let me know if you if you like the idea of more Minecraft content. Um, even if it's even if it's mining like this, uh, I think it's pretty cool because you know you know my channel's a talky channel anyway. Um, I could look into some walking simulators because like I feel like my style is very similar to Kurt J Mac, where what's going on the screen is just kind of a supplement for what's going on in. In my life, basically. I don't know. I basically need some, some ideas from you guys, if you can't tell. And, uh, you know, if I don't seem quite like I used to, I'm a little out of practice with this whole thing, you know. You get into a groove when you make these videos, and when you lose that groove, it's kind of not super easy to get back into it, but I will. Um, what else is going on? I installed Windows 10 on my machine. Um, definitely don't take it as, like, an official endorsement or anything. I'm not tech support, but for me, it's been great. Uh, it works just flawlessly. It fixed a lot of issues I was having, actually. Which is funny, because when I read about it, people are having a lot of problems with it. So here's... I'm going to tell you guys my opinion on Windows 10 so far. And this is what I think is, is the deal. If you have new... Um, what am I talking about? <laughs> if you have um, a new computer with new equipment in it, I think Windows 10 will be great for you. If you have an old computer and you're just barely able to run certain things, it's probably not the best idea to install Windows 10 uh, because Windows 10 will probably make your games run slower if you have old hardware. For me, ooh, ooh, look at that. See, that's why you always, you always dig a little. For me, um, everything seems to actually run a bit better, but that's because, again, I have new new equipment. You know, I got, I got a very new video card, a very fast processor. So if you don't have that stuff, probably want to stick with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Oh, if you have Windows 8, I'm sorry. Um, Windows 10 is so much better than Windows 8 as far as the interface goes. So, yep. This is a pretty successful mining venture already, man. We didn't really go that far either. What's this? Oh. <laughs> this vibrant setting is really making the game look different to me. Uh, different to me. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not have to see how it looks on YouTube. It's always hard to tell. I'm actually a little nervous that it's going to be very dark, but that's why I've been lighting up with these torches like I'm like a madman. Yeah, see, this is much darker than it usually is. <laughs> I don't even know if the digital vibrance affects the way the video looks. It's really hard to tell. I guess I'll find out. Um, so, yeah, it's funny because I have so much to talk about from work, guys. I have so much to say, but it's not going to be in this video. Probably the next one. I just... I woke up today and I was like, well, I better get a video out soon before people really think I'm dead. <laughs> and like, you know what's amazing? It's like, it's been months and I guess some of you guys have still been like thinking about me. I get random, I get random messages here and there from people like, oh, have you, have, you know, have you quit making videos? I got, a, I got a message on Twitter. I got messages on, um, in YouTube. I actually got a message on Twitter from another YouTuber I, I, I watch sometimes, a channel called We Played This. No E in play, just W-E-P-L-A-Y-D, this. Uh, great channel, by the way. Really, really cool channel. Nice guys. Um, they're one of the people that were playing Salt when I just started, actually. Um, they're one of the other Let's Players for Salt. Great channel. And they messaged me on, on uh, Twitter asking if I was still making videos. And I was like, yeah, I am. And then that's kind of what made me realize, hey, I better, uh, better talk to my people. I better talk to my viewers before they think I've quit. <laughs> As it is, I have a really bad feeling that YouTube is going to uh, be mad at me 
if you get what I'm saying. Uh, if you don't make videos for a while, YouTube sometimes will uh, stop sending viewers your way. Um, and I hope I hope that doesn't happen, but I will work towards getting back to that. I don't expect this to be a hugely popular video because Minecraft on YouTube has kind of died out a little bit. Um, that's okay, though. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to go too much longer because I have a feeling I'm already over the amount of time that I planned on making this video. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to do one more recap. I need game advice. I'm back. <laughs> um, I need game advice. And what do you guys think about Fallout? Like, I'd really like to do a Fallout 4 Let's Play. Um, I know it's not, you know, an early access game or anything like that, but it's one of my favorite franchises. So hopefully you guys like the idea. Uh, and yeah, any other games you got in mind? Let me know what you think about, um, ooh, who's, who's, who's moaning at me? Let me know what you think about, about just doing some Minecraft mining videos once a week. Um, I'm, I'm actually really, really would like to do Minecraft once a week, so I'll probably just do it. <laughs> but, uh, let me know what you think about that. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for sticking by me through all this. I'm back. I'm back, baby. <laughs> um, yep, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.